<laughs> it's quarter to five uh, on a Wednesday, and that means it's time for swings. It's our golf feature, and uh, we are very happy to have two big names of the game here in South Africa. Del Hayes' understudy, Mr. Dave Usendorf, and an absolute legend, James. Is it Kamte or Kamte, James? Kamte. Kamte. Yeah. We were busy debating it here. It's <laughs> actually <laughs> Kamte with a T, no P in it. No, 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 with a T, not a K. Is it Kamte or Kamte? It's K-A-M-T-E. T yeah, yeah. for Otoni. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, Jamesy. It's Daisy Fansham. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Fine, and you? What are you doing on radio? Oh. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> memories. If you look at her, if you look at her, though, you think she should be on TV. Uh, <laughs> should be modeling. <laughs> oh, thanks, James. I was telling them um, uh, we won't say it on air, but how we actually met many years ago in the swimming pool. Yeah. Oh. Don't don't tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, you you just opened a different story it. now. <laughs> How are you, Yuzi? Are you there? No, perfect. Thanks very much, Simon. Good to have you both uh, both on swings today. Thanks, and good to be here. Yeah, and uh, actually, the person most suited to talking about golf this afternoon is Hugh Bladen, who came from straight from a golf day. <laughs> How are you, Dave? No, good, thanks very much, you, uh, Hugh. How was your golf today? Yeah, okay. Not not too bad. Blades is okay, he's under 100. <laughs> I was well under no, 100. Davey, you know I was well under 100. Absolutely. Don't let him take a mickey there. Uh, <laughs> we accomplished golfer is uh, Mr. Bladen. Thank you. Yeah, I know, I've, play, I've played around with Blades. <laughs> anyway, uh, James, where, mm-hmm. where are you at the moment? Are you in South Africa? Are you I'm actually I'm actually in Johannesburg right now. Um, just been working hard and um, trying to get back onto the game because uh, I know I was injured for a while, but now and then I skip tournaments. But I'm not gonna play yet until I I go and defend my title. So at the moment I'm just preparing to go and defend my title. And uh, Uzi, where are you at the moment? Because I know you're running about a million things. <laughs> I'm out at the Elf Club at Copper Leaf, and a uh, beautiful day. We had a big field here again and members having a good time so yeah it's all good golf's looking good going into the summer and uh, we're looking forward to some uh, you know lots of people coming out here to enjoy the golf course in great shape yeah well you've got a big fan in the form of darren scott is, is he still a member there i believe he is yeah um some of the houses on the left hand side of the fourth aren't all happy about it but um, he is still <laughs> a member. <laughs> um, obviously the big news of the week uh, the PGA Championship uh, Kiawa Island um, Rory McIlroy claiming his second major uh, were you were you surprised that it that it ended up being Rory I'll put the question to both of you I think in the, in the start up I don't think too many people um, backed him because he hasn't didn't go into the tournament in great form but um, you know he's he just showed what a great champion he is in the way he played and I think another factor in a tournament like that where it's played next to the coast is the, is the draw and he clearly got a, a reasonable part of the draw and, and exploited it to his benefit I mean the, the average score in the first round was 73 and the average score in the second round was 78 and uh, clearly he played a lot better than that to obviously win by 8 yeah no, it was an emphatic win uh, James what did you think of Rory's performance they're saying that uh, Tiger Woods has never faced uh, a rival with this kind of potential. That's what they're saying. He's the biggest uh, threat in pursuit of a major record. You know, I had the privilege to play with the kid when I was on a European tour. You know, he's a very, very good player, you know. And there's one thing I like about Rory. He's, 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 um, his game plan is unbelievable. He's very aggressive and, and, and he trusts his swing. And the last round at the Bridgestone, when he played, and uh, I spoke to him like a couple of uh, for a couple of minutes, and he said he actually he found something on his swing, and and that's why I actually picked one one of my picks going to the weekend, and the way he hit the ball, I didn't really see too many people beating him. It was a matter of making putts, which is what he did well, and that's why he won. Yeah, if you have a look at the the South African performance, uh, I think. Quite a lot was expected of, of Trevor Immelman um, heading into that final round. It, and it was a bit disappointing to see him finish up where he did. You know, well, it isn't and isn't. It's all relative, you know. I mean, Trevor, Trevor, it's great to see him back in the mix. And he was right up on the top of the leaderboard going into the large ground. Finished a little bit weakly. But I, I think, um, you know, the weather again was a factor. 
there was more expectation on Elsa after his wonderful win in the British Open, but it was great to see Tim Clark heading up the South African field at two under par. Uh, James, sorry? Yeah, no, I was saying it was great to see Trevor playing well for a change, you know, because, uh, and as well, you know, probably he was a bit surprised uh, where he was. And I know with a lot of pressure, especially when you know that you know you not have been playing well, and all of a sudden you find yourself in that kind of a situation, and mentally it plays a big role. So, um, but uh, it was nice to see him playing well again. I suppose you know you you speak from experience there. Uh, Trevor obviously been battling with with injuries over the end. You yeah. yourself battling with an injury at the moment. Absolutely, you know I was uh, in uh, Crouch Montana in Switzerland when I saw Trevor when he had an operation on his right hand. And uh, you know, I, I nearly went down the same road, but I, I, I decided to take my to take a rest because I know going through an, um, an operation is quite a lot of things, and you, you feel you start to feel uncomfortable mentally. So I thought if I give it enough rest, I should be all right. But as I'm saying again, it was nice to see him coming back from an injury, and I'm sure now he's just going to build up from what he did last week. If you look at at Ernie's performance, obviously since winning the Open, we we watched him in Canada and you know, he missed the cut there. I think that was very, uh, we you know it wasn't unsurprising. But uh, he he, re- he said he relished the challenge of of playing a course like Kiowa Island with with the wind and to see him. We put it this way: were you were you surprised to not see him finish higher up? No, not at all. You know because. Um um, Ernie's a great player and, and, and you know he's, he's, he's a bit old and for him to work hard to win a major I'm sure it was Ernie's um, game plan you know all, everyone he's got a lot of um, um, when, you, you, when you're practicing of course you practice to win tournaments I'm sure Ernie was really practicing hard to win the British Open and of course to work on his padding as well but uh, for him to win the British Open it actually made him to relax more so now he's playing with more ease and he's not putting pressure on himself to win any more tournaments again. But I'm sure if any prepares a game like he prepared for the British Open, we'll see him winning more more tournaments. Yuzi? Yeah, no, I mean, I must, uh, I must agree with that. I think Ernie surprised everybody to a certain degree. There's been question marks over his ability to putt well. Clearly, um, that uh, Lady Caldwell, that professor, has, has helped him extremely. Um, with his eyesight and, and improving his putting and that's where it, it, it lies for him BJ Singh over the weekend probably a little bit older than else but he missed a couple of putts at crucial times Ernie again missed a few putts but the wind's a factor when you've got uh, one of those long putters standing up in those howling winds so it, it probably did put him off a little bit but I agree with James you know and he's broken uh, the camel's back so to speak after a, a big drought and uh, you know we look forward to seeing Ernie playing the kind of golf that we all expect from him again Davey, you mentioned Cheryl Calder, uh, who I had experience with in, in travelling with the Springbok rugby team. In what way does she help a golfer? Well, I think one of the problems is as you get a little older and you sort of get to 40 and onwards, then you, you lose that element with your eyes. I mean, Gary Christie... I know nothing about that. Cricket, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still immaculate. I've, I've noticed that. But um, the, the, the problem is when you start losing that... It, it, affects your confidence and when your confidence goes that's where it is because I mean Ernie still hits the ball as good as anybody in the world but lost his, his confidence on the green then he started fiddling around with different things and looking for solutions and clearly this um, this lady has been able to assist him with training his eyes back to a point where his, his hand eye coordination is better and, and clearly mm. seen it in the results on the green um, I just want to ask James uh, what are your plans for the rest of the year are you going to be heading overseas Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in October, I'm going to the States, you know, I've had enough of Europe and um, probably next year I'll go to, to Asia and try and get my card again. But at the moment, I'm just going to play for the next two, two months. I'm going to try and defend my title in Glen, at Glendower. And then um, September, I'm definitely going to spend two weeks in, in, in Asia, try and, 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 and see if I can play well again before I head off to the States. But definitely, I'm about 99% that I'm going to the States this year. James, I'd just like to know, why is your nickname Cobra? That's from football, eh? Oh, I'm you're sure f- Bafana Bafana, they need me right now. Yeah. No, I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> why, are you lethal? No, I used to play football and I used to strike and uh, I used to play as a striker and uh, the way I used to play as a kid and the guy came up with the name that this guy strikes like a Cobra. And then just from there onwards, it just became my nickname, eh? I thought you were sponsored by Cobra. No, it's a pity I'm not. And it's a pity I'm not playing like a cold brain golf, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. it's, 
it's great to catch up with both of you. Yuzi, it's always appreciated. Thank you, no, very, thank you very much, much Simon. It's a really exciting time going into the summer now for uh, the South African golfers. There's so many good ones, and uh, it's really looking forward to a, a lucrative summer for the South African golfers in all around the world. And uh, we also look forward to, to the Ryder Cup, which is coming up next month. Any yeah. any predictions there on who's going to take it? America. Yeah, I must say I agree with, I agree with James there. I mean, it's a very strong side, and they're playing at home, and they've got something to prove. So that whole Ryder Cup scenario has, um, has regenerated itself, so to speak, in terms of competition. And uh, with Woods up in the top, and Bubba Watson, Daphne, Bradley, Simpson, Johnson, Kucha, Nicholson, the list goes on, and Stricker is probably going to be a wild card. So what an amazing team to take into that tournament. And with all those crazy people shouting, you're the man, and again, <laughs> all, all the time, I'm sure they're going to do well. Well, there we go. Well, it was good to catch up with both of you. And, um, and yeah, Yuzi, don't be so scarce. We try to phone you to get you on Bulls Visual Radio. You want nothing to do with us. Speak for yourself, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it on the fairway. We'll see you at Africa's Major. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. James, thanks so much for joining us. And all the best with your recovery. And as you look to defend your title, and we'll be keeping an eye out for you. Absolutely, it's a pleasure, and thank you very much for having me. The Cobra there, James Cullen. We the best on three. One, two, three. We the best. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays, live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.